When I first started this project seven years ago, they said I'm crazy. This movie is too big. You don't have an insight. You don't have a clue how to do this. It's too difficult. And they even said my English is too bad. Come on, my English is not so bad. I didn't let that stop me. As I thought it would be interesting to make a movie about a female bodybuilder, where the audience really can see what really motivates these women and what struggles and conflicts they go through to get on stage. Because their body is like their piece of art they're shaping every day. This requires a lot of passion, dedication and sacrifice. Putting this into a movie, a fictional drama, where you can experience the emotional journey of a female bodybuilder on their way to the title, is unique. Uh, we're here at the Wings of Strength in Phoenix, Arizona, one of the relatively new competitions for female bodybuilding. We're here to get an insight into the industry. Hopefully we'll have some interesting discussions about my vision. Possibly find yeah, potential actors for my new ones. Because it's not a documentary, it's a drama. Is it quite a challenge to find an athlete who can play all the different aspects of the main role Celine? They were quite critical at the beginning and they didn't really want to talk to me. But once I got the chance to explain myself so that I didn't want to exploit the scene or hurt the sport in any way, they really opened up and even encouraged me to make this movie. We're here in Las Vegas at the Olympia, the biggest competition for bodybuilding. People ask me like all the time, very critical. Why, Philip? Why are you making a movie about that topic? Why about female bodybuilding? What do you want to achieve? Do you want to make a freak show? What is your goal? Do you want to exploit them? No, we live in the 21st century. And it should be completely acceptable to be a woman with muscles. But we're not there yet. When they go to a grocery store, people give them strange looks. And I know how this feels. I want to challenge the point of view of the audience. I want them to rethink what they got implanted in their head. I want to change the world. Maybe this is a bit too much. I want to make a statement. I want them to see that that's not only black and white, male or female. There is much more. And female bodybuilding still gets discriminated. I started my journey to find an athlete who can play the role of Celine and to gain more insight into the industry and to meet people that would be willing to participate. In doing so, I discovered that there are more layers to this industry and that there is something wrong that needs to be addressed. Yeah, hello. Um, you just said the sport is for everybody and you always heard you saying that don't listen to the naysayers. And don't you think you became a little bit like a naysayer by not allowing female bodybuilding at your competition? No, not at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I like female bodybuilding. But when you see the popularity going down, and so we decided not to run the competition and to change the competition. Not to take women championships away, but to give women other goals. Ah, so you don't think it's discriminating? No. 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 I think it is discriminating. When men tell women you can't be as big as you want, well, men can. Because someone else can organize it if they want and if they think they can make money from that. So is it then because there is no money for it? Or is it because it's, it's not popular? I think we should prove him it's wrong. Saying the reason that the female bodybuilding category has been removed due to the lack of popularity is just an excuse. We really need to ask the question, why did it become unpopular? Because of the women themselves or the judges who reward size, which leads to competitors who are getting bigger and bigger, the popularity and future of the sports is mainly in the hands of the judges and organizers. Disregarding those women by replacing them, their categories, with pole dancing and bikini competitions is not an effective solution. What should be happening is an increase of promotion of the sport and help inspire women to be what they want to be. Regarding less what society's expectations are, I feel now even more determined to make this movie.